Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Two Point Campus with me, Jack Daw. Now, you join us when we are end of another year. And I've actually just got a brand new course in. We brought in Funny Business because we've got everything we need already for Funny Business, which in essence is pretty much just lecture rooms, I believe. Oh, I'm going to have to double check that myself now. What, what was it you needed? Was it just lecture rooms? I oh, and a science lab, yeah. So we've got everything we need. Now, on the last episode, I remember saying... I don't think now these are housing enough students. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is put another kind of area in. We're going to move the this room over here. We're going to move them out a little bit. Maybe we put him a little bit further away. Uh, he might fit in here. We might be able to squeeze like a little room in there. We'll get a path going around. Because we've got all this space over here as well. So we could go ahead and put in... Because we need another lecture theatre anyway. Oh, that's a point. Well, could we fit a lecture theatre in here? Oh, that's not something I thought about. Maybe we can pop it in there. Might be the easy thing to do. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is put a nice little time lapse in now for you lovely people. And we're going to go ahead, put some more dorms in to expand our kind of capacity for students. What do you want? A funny film. Well, we'll, we'll set it up for you. There you go. Repeat every year. Done. Yeah, so we'll expand our campus out. We'll get a bit more, a couple more lecture theatres in. Um, get some more dorms in, some more nice things in, maybe another library we can pop in. We might be able to do a bit of copy and paste in. We've got a little bit of money. We're probably going to end up spending it and most likely take out a loan. So without further ado, let's crack on and do it. Right, there we go ladies and gentlemen that is a nice big area in so i think we can go ahead start new year and let's see how we get on so average happiness needs to be at least 80 percent so can we do anything about that i think we can 
A couple of things. Oh my goodness, look at them all coming. Oh, we got amazing. So many people. So many people. I was going to say we can probably do something with it, but at the same time, we haven't got much money, so we can't really do much with it at present. But what I want to do at some point soon is let's have a look at what events we've got on. Because could we get in? Uh, open mic, that gives entertainment. Open mic's quite cheap. What have we actually got on? Let's have a look. So we've got DJ Sue Chef. Uh, that's the same. We've got Jasmine Odyssey coming in. I think she comes in for the whole time as well. Uh, what about down here? The honor rollers. So can we get maybe Shoe Grays in? Do we honor? Do we say so we had Shoe Grays? Jasmine Odyssey, what was this first one? DJ Shoe Chef. Yeah, let's get Shoe Grays in. Let's put them in there. Repeat every year. It does cost a little bit of money, but I think that's something we can kind of soak up. Right, now that's done. Oh my goodness, there's an earthquake. Uh, game. Hello. Well, I'm quite pleased we put a lot of janitors in. Oh, yeah, I did say we were going to get another kind of one of these, didn't we? Could we? We can't copy. How much does it cost to copy? Probably too much. Probably way too much. Because ideally, maybe we put another library in here. Maybe quite a skinny library. It might not be that big, but it might be big enough. Well, once we get a little bit of money, we'll look at doing it. You want a sleepy sheep. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we haven't got a sleepy sheep over here, so we'll put him in there. We'll pop him there as well. I'm not sure if he can go outside. No, it can't go outside. Um, maybe we'll put one there as well. Is that going to be plenty? Are you going to be happy with that? Maybe one over here as well. There we go. Hopefully, they'll be happy with that. Right, we've got a little bit of money now, so let's pop in that library. I would, like I said, I was going to do a bit of copy and paste, but I really don't think it's going to fix. That library is massive. But what we could do is a nice little one like this. I'm not going to put a bathroom in here. Um, we could probably do quite a big one, actually. Here we go. This is looking a bit different, isn't it? A bit unique. Yeah. I'm going to put two doors in. And let's, yeah, I'm gonna, let me go ahead and build this and see what we can come up with. There we go. I did have to take, I'll be honest, a small loan out for it, but marvellous. That looks actually really quite nice. I like that room quite a bit. Right, making a good amount of monthly profit. We're going to need to make a lot more. Look, we need to get it up to 100,000 to actually start bringing in. Well, we're going to get past this level. So I think it's definitely doable. It's 100% doable. You know, A grade students, that's going to happen as the year kind of ticks through nicely. But what we could do is utilize this time to actually do some upgrades. So we can't upgrade either. You can do you. We can do you and we can do you. Oh, what do you need? What do you need? DNA post. We can put one. We'll put a couple of them in for you. One there, one there and one there. Marvellous. And we can do one upgrade there. Okay, that looks pretty good. I know they're having to walk quite far, and I know you can, in theory, say, right, I want these students, if you want to get really micromanagey, you can get these students saying, right, I want, say, for example, all the this lecture theatre here to be purely for Scientology, or I want the students over in these dorms over here. I think you can set these dorms to say, yeah, you can set them for a particular courses. So they're not having to walk too far to the course they need. Oh, what well, we got? Train 250 janitors. Lovely. A bit more kudos. Got like over four grand of kudos. We've we got so many. I, I, I don't know what we should spend it on. What's your thoughts? What, what should we spend it on? Have you got any ideas what you, we should do? Let, let me know. Let me know in the comments. So now what we need to do is, like I said, we're going to do some more upgrades where possible because this does give, if we look at it, it does give us some more learning power, which means our students are going to be happier. Uh, well, not happier, but they're going to pass much quicker and much higher levels. And that makes us, obviously, more money. Can we upgrade any of these? I know I did some of the upgrades. I mean, do this. What does it actually do? Train and improve 100%. That's pretty quick. As well as 100% improvement. Right, so we're in a bit of a state now where we're kind of waiting a little bit. Oh, this is pretty busy over here, isn't it? Oh my goodness. This is like the place to be. It's like the place to be on half, isn't it? Look at it. So many people. Can we upgrade these rooms? I don't think we can. No. 
That's fine. They're all busy. They're learning. He's busy. Everyone worshipping the orb. Oh my goodness, he, he probably is sitting down and obeying the orb, isn't he? Monthly profit. Okay, up to 67, which is good. Accommodation rating is still quite low, so we've still not got enough. Hmm. Is there a way? I'm not sure. If you, if you know, is there a way to find out how many kind of students you've... Well, I know there's a way to find out how many students you've got, but is there a way of how, finding out if you've got enough dorms for the students? Is it going to be maybe in here somewhere? Is it going to be in here? Uh, lots of jobs for janitors. Lecture can be upgraded. There's, oh, there's lots of research projects available. That might be a way to make a bit of money. That's not something we thought about doing. Yeah, we could put like a, another kind of dorm over here with potentially a bit of research at the same time. Yeah, or we, we could put research here. How big is research? Let's have a quick look. Uh, I think it's quite a sizable room. No, 4x4, four four, so only it's, it's actually quite small. Right, let's try and do that if, if this earthquake was to stop. Yeah, th thank you. Thank you, game. So let's put you in to about... Um, hello, game. Thank you. Let's pop it to about there. We'll put a little door at the front. Right, so now this is in. What we're going to do is we're going to make this kind of our little research area. Because I think we have got staff trained in research. So we can probably do that for them we'll make it about that big and then what we'll do is we'll put like a nice little toilets next to it right let's put in a couple of these a couple of them here a couple of these over here i like a bit of decorating you can probably tell it's quite nice isn't it it's quite a nice feeling right we're almost done now i'm not gonna we're not gonna go too crazy with it but crazy enough Put them on the walls. One of these in. I'm not sure what it is. What even was that? Research computer. That cost us 50,000. That was one expensive research computer, wasn't it? Right, there we go. Level 9. That's fine. Start a new project. So you give us kudos. You give us cash. Jousting track. Well, let's do that. And what was I going to do? We are going to put like a little toilets in, weren't we? Little staff toilets. So we'll put a little bathroom in here. Should we make it the gold room for them? It is a bit more expensive, but you know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to do it because our staff deserve the best. And this is what we are giving them. The actual mother truck and best. Right, we'll put one of them there. A couple of flower pots in. Right, lovely. Level four. That will do. And this is going to be staff only room. Beautiful. So, yeah, it is saying we need a teacher who can work in here. Hmm. See, I thought... Yeah, it only needs to be a night school teacher. So we have got someone who can work in night school. So I'm kind of hoping they're going to come along and do that in a minute. Uh, you want a raven lamp. Can we put one outside, a couple outside this door? This can be the raven room. The room of ravens. Close enough anyway, isn't it? But that might make us a bit more money. So once we've done some of these research projects, maybe we look at changing it up and saying, I want it to be um, kind of money orientated to focus towards it. I think we've got enough, though, to pay off the loan. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, repay loan. Only at 30000 now. Fantastic. So that's that done. And I did say we should get another dorm over here, didn't we? Yeah. We've got a bit of money. Right, I'm going to go and throw this bad boy in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Quite a close-knit room. But, hey, there's 30 people in there already. That means that's full. What about this room? 10 in there. We've got 10 in there. And we got 10 in there. Okay. So, um, yeah, because that means that all these rooms... Oh, my goodness, I haven't been paying attention down here. That's fine. Only four escape. That's not too bad. 78,000 monthly profit. Hopefully, that'll be more next year. Yeah, look, we're still over encumbered, you could say, because they're still pretty busy. Hmm, could we maybe copy this whole layout? And maybe pop it next to it? Is that... What's wrong with that? Oh, you're, you're trying to be sold. Okay, you can be sold, you can be sold. 
And then what we'll do is I'll just... I, I wish it took the rooms with it, but it's not going to. So let me um, throw all of this into the other one. Okay, there we go. Right, how many people are in these ones? Only seven. And how many's in this one? We've got 22. So that's given us a little bit more space, I think. Yeah, look, there's now eight in that one. Let's have a look at these other ones. Yeah, eight. Okay, marvellous. That is looking good. We've got a load more money now. So what that means is we do a load more upgrades. So we can get all them done. You as well. Um, there's nothing else done in that room needed. You're being upgraded as I just told you to. Over here, there's a lot of injuries. There's a massive amount of injuries. How much do they even cost us? 30,000. That's quite expensive, isn't it? Uh, we'll get one over there done. I think we need to get these upgraded as well. Yeah, you as well. Perfect. You, I don't think... Oh, yeah, you do have an upgrade. I apologise. Over here, anyone need an upgrade over here? Yeah, you do. And you do. And it's the end of the year. How do we get on? 87%. Not bad at all. But what do we need for this year? Let's have a quick look. So we need a lot more teachers. So we need academic excellence, gastronomy, and general knowledge. Right, so... Um, what was it again? It was right, academic excellence. I'm just going to go and try and hire some good stuff. Okay, and I've also just got another course, which was... Where is it? Countercultural Studies. There we go. That's that in. Right, as I said, we need some more things put in. So let me go back to hiring these teachers. So all the teachers are in. That is done. Now we do need another science lab. Hmm, we haven't got the space for it up here, have we? Could we do some hokey pokey in? Maybe expand this out. We'll have to get rid of the tree. And maybe move them up and fit one in here. Yeah. Let's see what we can do with it. If I go out to there. I know it's going to sell those items. That's fine. And if we move these back. Just maybe. We'll be able to fit it all in. So I'm going to move him to there. Uh, I'm not sure what we're selling. Okay, it's only wall art. That's fine. Um, move you up as well so we'll pick you up and plop you there yeah I know we're selling items I do apologise same goes for you got to move that there we go what's wrong with that why can't that be reached there we go that fixed it uh, selling one item fine well I didn't give us much from it all did it no hmm, okay okay that's, that's, that's no way going to be big enough, is it? Let's be honest. We are not going to be able to fit in that. We could... Let's move him up. We're going to have to get rid of that one bench. We've got a little bit of space there. Could we move this lecture theatre? Could I move... You know what I'm going to do? We're going to pick him up. And we're going to bring him over here. And this can be... A, oh, that's a bit tight as well, isn't it? Yeah... You know what, I'm going to give this a go. We're going to give this a go and hope for the best. Right, yeah, that can be sold. Like I said, that might be a bit too skinny for them. I'm going to move the bin just because it's a bit of a silly spot to be in. Right, now we've got quite a bit more space. Let's move you over here. Move you out, move you out. See, it's a bit of a juggle, isn't it, with this game. Right, we're going to now copy this and pop it in, expand it out slightly. Oh, no. Hold on. I'm going to have to move the door. Come here. Come here, door. Come here. Right, you can go there. Does that work? Does that... Oh, no. Hello. Can we move these pictures? Yes, we can. Right. Marvellous. There we go. Right. That's lecture theatre in. That's everything we need in. Perfect. Right. Let's start the new year. Uh, start new year. Lovely. Straight into debt. Just what you want, isn't it? Okay. Training-wise... I haven't been tearing on top of this. And, oh, yeah, we've, we've got a lot of training we need to do. And um, why can you not be... Oh, we haven't got any money. Okay, we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait a little bit because we haven't got any money. And then when we have a bit more money, we'll go ahead and... Oh, can I... Oh, we can't upgrade that. But we will need to upgrade that at some point. This gives us money. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to do that. We're going to book it in for April. There we go. And we're going to give the jousting contest another go as well. So let's book in... No, we can't do the grand joust, can we? No, okay, that costs money. We can't do the grand joust. What about the... Over here. 
can we book anything in over here on, on freebies? No, they cost money as well. So we can't do that either. Ah, rats. Ratsy, ratsy, ratsy. Okay, that's fine. I think that is fine. How's these looking? Still not up to full capacity. I think you're good as well. Yeah. Okay, that looks fantastic. Money-wise, monthly profit is at 70,000. It's the staff wages, isn't it? And I don't think we can really reduce that. So I think we're going to have to get bigger XP bonuses. But the only way to get XP bonuses is if we train the staff more. So, hmm. it's getting closer though. Oh, hello, 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 Earthquake, yet again. So for now, oh my goodness, what happened in there? They were not happy, were they? 78,000, not bad profit. It is slightly reduced, but what we can do is we can upgrade some of these rooms just to help them with the money that way a little bit. I think that should be fine. You've got a question mark over your head. What's wrong? Can you sweep the litter? Thank you, that fixed it. Right, beautiful, 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 beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. Right, perfect. Let's keep upgrading. Get these rooms all on the rise. Lovely, jubbly. Yep, perfect. Right, that looks good. They look good. You probably need an upgrade. Someone's playing a game. Beautiful. You can carry on doing that. Right, that looks good. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what we're going to do if they say we need to buy more things. We've got a little bit of space left over here. And I know we said we were going to try and get every course available. And I think the only way of if we were to do that it just have one like massive building over the whole plot leave a little bit of space for like i said these kind of things over here but with then everything in the middle because having all these paths and things all around the place they do take up a little bit well a little bit of space here and there but that does add up everywhere else so yeah oh we are almost at the monthly profit though look at that ninety-six thousand that month average happiness has dropped down a little bit but hopefully that will go back up again once they are, um, you know, once they're a bit happier with everything, which should be quite easy to do, he says. Let's have a look at our student happiness. How is it looking at the moment? Some of them are quite low. Some of them are, okay, you're thirsty, hungry, you need the toilet and things. You're not very good with personal growth. You are a thirsty, oh no, that's just how you're feeling. And you weren't happy because of the earthquake. Relationships are quite low as well. He's joined the Orb, Orb Club, which, you know, I'm, I might get rid of the Orb Club. Did we, did we get rid of it last time? No, we didn't. You know what? I'm going to get rid of it. Because I'd rather just have people, you know, doing, um, you know, other things that make them happy. Obviously, that reduces their happiness a little bit. Oh, claim reward. Orb Club, funny enough. Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil and he will be there. Money is back where it needs to be, though. So, I did say about training. So, I'm going to fly through this list and get everyone trained up. Okay, that is everyone done in training. Well, everyone at least scheduled to go to training. That is not everyone done training. Everyone scheduled to go training. But I think having this second library actually was a brilliant idea. Albeit, is there anyone in that? Yeah, we've got staff working in that. Marvellous. Everyone is getting... I've scheduled basically a lot of inspirational speaking for all of our teachers because every time this happens they get a bit of XP and those XP bonuses go towards our money and that's what we're aiming for isn't it We need because we need more money. I've also trained all of our um, assistants as you can see in comment relief just so we can hopefully provide comment relief to our students and if we can do that that's again going to get us a bit more money as well. So, hopefully, with all that going on, you're kind of, fingers crossed, everyone will get, you know, a bit of common relief, a bit of happiness. And happy students, obviously, pay rent. And they learn, and they learn better. And we get A's and A stars. Look, we've got A's popping around there. Fantastic. So, I'll fast forward the game a little bit, and because there's not much else. Oh, my goodness, it looks crazy when you look at it like that, doesn't it? Um, I'll, yeah, well, I'm going to fast forward the game a little bit just so we can hopefully bring you back in when we've pretty much finished this uh, hospital campus because at the minute I don't really think we need to do much more in here. So yeah, I'll bring you back in a, in a jiffy. 
right we have just hit the monthly profit fantastic so that is done so now what we all need to do is get that happiness up which is pretty much where it needs to be and students to pass so i'm hoping we're going to get a lot of students out this year how many students are in year three only 75 but we've got a lot of students in year one and two so i'm kind of maybe we get enough to push us over the the amount i'm kind of hope we're hoping i'm hoping it might not happen but it might do it at the same time we haven't got long to wait and i haven't really done much else to be all honest i've done some more upgrades where possible um we lost the event unfortunately we, we didn't win our cheese wall event but maybe next time there's always another time we can do it isn't there but yeah that's at 78 percent that's so close but what we'll do at the end of the year we can let the game run and ultimately get let them get all their happiness up and then we'll just start the year and hopefully that'll be where it needs to be if it's not already there Comic timing still going on quite nicely, so that is looking really positive. So, yeah, like I said, we're kind of—I'm just kind of twiddling my fingers at the minute, to be honest. Just um, a little bit of waiting, and hopefully, we can get this last campus done, and we can move on to the next one, which will be absolutely brilliant because we're going into some of the DLC territory. So, I think we're going to be going into space, which is quite exciting because that's brand new courses we got to look forward to. Um, a brand new kind of styles brand brand new everything i think to a degree so that's something what i'm really looking forward to let's see how this end of the year goes and we will go from there okay ladies and gentlemen we are almost at the end of the year so here's hoping we get through in a couple of days time and that would be rather nice year nine that's a few years we've got in this in this campus isn't it as um it's been busy hasn't it it's been busy how do we get on yes everyone has passed fantastic so all we've got to do now is let their happiness jump up to at least 80 percent which again i'll let i'll do that off camera and i'll bring you back when we when we've done it so we'll see you in a minute and there we do just as i was about to try and hire some more stuff we have done it that is it that is amazing that's three stars so it's safe to say that tpu was never this good even in its first life, the presence of the banner university is bound to improve life in the county as ways as uh, I don't know what that word is, as they are countless. How can we ever appropriately thank you? You know, I'm not sure it's possible, so I better not risk it. We've got a jobs worth bust and the sorcery fountain. That is beautiful. And like I said that is this campus done. So let's oh no not that's not the right map button. This is the right map button. Here we go. We're going to exit to the map. Here we go. And let's take a look where our brand new campus is going to be on next week's episode. Because that is that one done. So we are moving to Universe City. So this is going to be um, revitalize the county's interest in outer space. One small step at a time. Like I said, it's part of the DLC. So hopefully you can stick around and join us for that. Because we will be there. And we will be flying through it. And then once we've done that, we do lifeless escape. And then on to Lake Tumble to do a bit of medical. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this week's episode. If you have, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like. Make sure you comment. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.